How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the difference between absolute root relative and relative links inside your HTML documents or your own web applications. So essentially these are just three different ways of writing a link and they are all interpreted differently by the client web browser and that's where they actually differ. So we're going to talk about each one and when they're actually appropriate and also um, which one to go for inside your next web project. So let's just start with the absolute link. So an absolute link um, is used for referencing external resources. Okay, so um, this type of link includes the maximum amount of information. So let's see with an example. I'm gonna write out a absolute link right here. So, let's type out http colon forward slash forward slash um, youtube.com forward slash decode dash software. So, this right here is my channel URL and it's also an absolute link. That's because we include a lot of things. We include the protocol used followed by the actual domain and then followed by the individual resource path after that. So we're including a lot of detail. Now with this detail you're able to actually reference an external resource. So you're going to want to use these links when um, you're, you're sharing like social media or even when you're including development tools. So you might see a lot of CDNs will include like for example jQuery or um, Bootstrap um, these libraries are available over a CDN and that CDN is going to be an absolute link. So it's good for external resources. Okay, that is absolute right there. So root relative is actually probably one of the most important ones and um, these links are relative to the roots of the domain. So essentially these links are all about the current domain that you are on. Okay, so let's just see with an example. If I was to type out, for example, forward slash images forward slash image 01.jpg, that right there is a root relative link. And you know this by the fact it has a forward slash in front. So with a forward slash in front, when the browser reads this, it means the browser is going to add the current domain name before this link. Okay, so for example, if you're on the About Us page on a domain such as um, http mydomain.com, all right, for example, if you're on this page and the About Us page has this link right there. When the browser reads this link, it's actually going to reference this file right here. I'll show you. Copy that and put that right there. So, the browser on this page right here, if it sees this link, it's going to think it means that resource right there. This is useful because no matter what page you're on or what directory you're inside, for example, um, you can be down here, you can be down here. If that page has this link on it, it's always going to refer to that resource right there. This is useful for um, things like development source files, images and things like that. So it's very good for actual files that are relevant to the actual web project and you're going to want to use these most of the time. All right. So, this brings us to relative links. Relative links are um, relative to the actual directory that you're currently in. So, root relative is relative to the actual root or the domain, whereas relative is relative to the actual current directory. So, let's take this example again. Copy that, paste that down here, and get rid of the forward slash right there. So now, this is a relative link. 
they might also look like this dot forward slash and then that but most of the time they look like this so a relative link is relative to the current directory so once again if we were on http mydomain.com forward slash about us on this page right here okay if i was to um, have this link in the html the web browser is going to interpret that as this right here let's copy that put it down here and add that at the end of that so you can see here the difference right on this page right here a relative link such as this the web browser is going to actually look for that resource right there so it's going to include the about us before the images folder so in most cases this will not work because typically your images folder is in the root of your domain okay so um, if you were to actually use a relative link on the about page it'll be like this instead dot dot forward slash which means go back one directory and then get that file and in that case right there you're actually going to get that right there and the same goes for if you're inside this directory copy that put that down here if you were inside um, you know that much deep in the actual directory then you're going to get that right there once again in most cases is not what you want so relative links are good when um, you want portability so if you actually want an app that you can just basically copy the folder around it's going to work most of the time because everything's relative to the actual folder okay whereas most of the time a root relative link is what you want because it's relative to the actual domain so most of the time a single app is going to be on one domain so you're going to have all your resource files in the actual root directory under a folder such as images or CSS or JS. So, to wrap it up, you're going to want to use external links, absolute, okay? For most cases, root relative is the way to go. And for portability or only development purposes, you're going to want to use relative links. Alright? And that is the difference between absolute, root relative, and relative links inside your HTML documents. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.